Uh, today I will be um, showing you uh, the process of how you can transfer the FaceCap app all the way um, into another face, face scan. Um, so the developer actually created two apps. The first one is FaceCap and the second one is, is face scan. And for this you need, you probably need f iPhone 10 or iPhone or iPad Pro 2018 with a face ID. But I'll be showing you the whole process so you know when you when uh, when you're dealing with like a face animations and blend shapes for iOS. Uh, this is actually pretty kind of pretty easy uh, to do. Uh, anyway, so I will be using Blender 2.8 beta, the one that's that's actually the last beta before the release candidate. It doesn't work properly on Mac OS, so this is Blender. 2.8 beta. This is one version before RC. Anyway, I'll I'll be showing you the process. So I already capture um, f uh, like a face performance and I save it here. Um, actually, face cap and face scan. So I have two folder. One is for face scanning uh, to scan like like a face, and then you get uh, the animations. And the other one, a face cap. Anyway, I'll sh I'll be showing it to, uh, to you. Import FBX downloads. So face cap. This is the one where I'm reading a Heart Sutra. Just a little bit of it. And import FBX. Hopefully this works. Um, there's also the sound that I'll. I'll try to load at some point. But that takes a while. File, save as demo hard sutra. For the final result of this, I will try to turn it into augmented reality, but that's another extra processing. Um, okay, the result looks like this when you load it. You need to actually go to select all the mesh and then under here turn off the auto smoothing of the normal so you get the face and file uh, view selected frame selected okay not good I don't have my mouse this is I'm just using a Mac MacBook Pro um, yeah so this is the face it's all good I can bring in the voice as well um, with EV and this it's kind of slow at the moment I'm using make OS Catalina better but yeah let's try to bring in the sound anyway the sound I believe we need a video sequencer and I'll go to the first frame add a sound downloads base cap heart sutra wait okay this is the sound and it's pretty long I'm just gonna display the waveform zoom in a little bit ah don't zoom in. and play a short first from Heart Sutra. Okay, character is talking. Good. Now I'm gonna transfer this into my face, kind of my generic face that you can capture using the iPhone 10 or iPad Pro also. Import FPX and the other app is called Face Scan. And I have a bunch of face, but uh, this is the one that I'll be using. My own face. view again this guy need the auto smoothing of the face turn off okay cool a short first from heart sutra okay this guy this is the generic head from face cap app the eyes looking up because i'm reading this has blend shapes around more than 50 blend shapes for now 
this guy also have blend shapes and the, the good thing about about this the blend shape of this guy and this guy is all the same and we can really just transfer the blend shape you can use a driver but i will be using sphere chalk nodes okay for sphere chalk is actually really handy for a lot of things especially object id if you know these nodes you are good to go to control anything in blender and also outside blender if you use python and etc but for now you can just access the shape keys from here and i know we can grab the value of the shape keys and the data blocks using key key blocks or something i have my cheat here shape keys key blocks okay key blocks dot dot you can go to my github and then this actually have some hidden tricks anyway object id set key blocks please get all the list of these blend shapes or shape keys you can see there are two objects so we we need to separate the origin and the one that's the target the source and the target uh, for that i will be using list item and level set level to one so i'm selecting just the shape keys of this guy and we can use the stethoscope app just to see the result okay the the view is kind of overlapping each other if you go to preference sphere chalk you just go set the multiplier to two enter file save and restarting this will solve this overlapping thing if we open blender recent okay it fixed now we want to look at the value so we just use object id set once again just get the value stethoscope as i play back this you can Same see the list the list of yeah. shape keys that we already source so we just need to grab the other guy so object number two get the shape keys and for this guy we want to plug in this value i think that's pretty much it this should be a value so you can see now short first from heart sutra sariputra Matter is not different from emptiness, and emptiness is not different from matter. Matter is emptiness, and emptiness is matter. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's me reading the short verse of the Heart Sutra. I thought it, it's gonna be kind of fun. Um, the other thing, oh, okay. The other thing that's missing here, of course, the eyes, my eyes replacement, and the teeth. The teeth, actually, there's another app by the same guy he actually I or maybe that's no that's a different app it's by Bellus 3d this app allows you to generate teeth on the fly not on the fly I mean like you have you scan your face and then it's gonna generate the teeth for you so that's kind of nice as well something you want to look at if you want to have a complete face also you need the Bellus 3d because uh, the face scan and face app only give you so just the base face but it's pretty good so yeah anyhow our sensation now the blend shape is transferred what's missing of course this um the animation of the head um you need to kind of figure that out i'll try to do that as well and the other thing you might want to do is to create a skeleton uh, if you need a skeleton, then you okay. might want to do another thing. Um, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to say is that 
currently with the Apple AR USDZ for augmented reality stuff, they don't have blend shape yet. They don't have a walking blend shape. Maybe it's coming really soon. But so you need just bone animations. You need to transfer the face animations into bone animations. So there are like 1,440 vertices on this face. And you can actually just uh, turn it into a bone animations. So this one is kind of done. I'll save or discard. Just gonna show you before I finish this video. Face bone control. Okay, this is the face bone control. Okay. I'm actually and this should be it should be animated. Mature face bone control, that's the whole setup. I animate this guy, the bone should be moving. Ah, oh, this is actually using the older blender, that's why. I have older blender 2.79 good old blender 2.79 and face bone control yep you can transfer the face animations into the bone rather quite easily using similar setup Object ID selector armature get get the oh this one is actually applying it to the post bones. There's another one that's transferring the shape keys into the bone. This one is for the blend shapes. Oh, there's yeah the the other one uh, basically. Um, Yeah, actually the post bone. So you have a, a blend shapes animations, and this is the the bones that's already generated. I'm using sphere chalk as well to to generate these uh, bones. It's a single armature with one thousand and four hundred and forty bones, and then I'm transferring it into the matrix of the bones. It's pretty simple, and you can see it works. Yeah, it's really it's really that easy. Um, see, if you, you you have random vector, you plug it into the this guy. See, it's just the bone, randomly placed. I'm just transferring the animations. Oh, okay, it doesn't work with Blender. This doesn't work on Blender 2.8 because uh, there's a little bug maybe in the sphere chalk that doesn't allow you to do that. It doesn't transfer the shape keys, but it works on the older Blender. So it's kind of tricky if you want to do the bone animations but other than that uh, the process of scanning your face transferring it into another blend uh, face as long as it has the all the blend shapes that's already pretty easy uh, the next thing we want to do is to to do the motion uh, motion capture of body and maybe make this pipeline a little bit better so Face animations, sound recording. Um, that's already done. The eyes can be fixed. The teeth, also. The tongue. Don't forget the tongue because this character actually have a tongue. But yeah, for the rest is actually pretty much done. I mean, it's become a lot of easier. Different from matter. And this is actually real time. Matter is emptiness, and emptiness is matter. So two are sensation, recognition, volitions, and consciousness. Ah, oh, okay. It stops. A short verse from Heart Sutra. Sariputra, 
matter is not different from emptiness and emptiness is not different from matter okay matter. yeah it's done i'll try to turn this into an ar and then maybe i'll make another video about the bones setup etc but that's uh pretty much using sphere chalk and because sphere chalk can kind of quickly uh, get the data blocks and then get the value and then transferring it into another so this is really powerful you can also use animation nodes but um yeah i suggest you to look at both animation nodes actually will work as well just it doesn't have this um, object id it's slightly different but uh, you can do the same all right hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye